Hey guys, welcome to the kickoff um, over the next few days of what we do. Sorry, this is like crazy. Um, basically what we do as health and fitness coaches, like what's this, like what is it? So basically you're going to see that over the next few days. Um, I'll go live here um, over like probably the next four or five days. Um, just because it only allows you to have one live a day. And so I will share with you basically what it is exactly we do um, as coaches and kind of like objections and like how much it costs, like the pay, all that stuff. I'll set up, share all that good stuff. So I just wanted to pop on to talk to you a little bit about um, basically my story, where I'm coming from and exactly what, um, I guess what it is that we we do and how we, we kind of fell into this, this, I guess how I fell into this, you know, journey, so to speak. So for years, I was a group fitness instructor and a personal trainer. And, um, I trained clients online and at the gym and I taught probably 12 to 15 fitness classes a week. That was when I was like in my twenties, early thirties. And like my energy was super awesome. But, um, and I had three kids and my husband was a nurse. He still is a nurse and he was finishing his bachelor's. So we were busy. Um, we had a lot going on and I had found myself one summer, like just being like, what am I doing? Um, I've got these three little kids that like, yeah, they're my kids, but I go to teach at the gym and train and my husband's like sleeping slash helping be dad. And then we come home and we high five and like he goes to work and I take the kids and I do whatever I got to do. Um, I try to fit in clients here and there if I can. And it just was like this, like, I don't know, like Groundhog's Day, living it over and over and over and over again. And I was like, what the heck is going on in my life? Like, this is not... What I had envisioned when I went down that, you know, down the health and fitness path, because I loved health and fitness and I loved helping people, but I love that it was like flexible and I could do it and still be a mom. And I just remember I'd have like, when I first started, I just, I started a little bit and I'd only had Hunter at that time. And then I had Hope and I added more to my plate. And then I had Brooklyn and I added more to my plate. And I was like, we can't keep going like this. So I started to get, um, just like take a step back. I'm like, what can I change? Like we still needed like this income to help pay for, um, like student loans and stuff like that. And, but I knew I couldn't keep putting my body through it. Like teaching 12 fitness classes a week, and then training, you know, five to 10 classes, five to 10 clients, which when you train a client, they usually meet a couple times a week. So you can only take on so many clients. And then like I had people that wanted to work with me online and I got these three little kids and we were involved in our church and just everything was just a hot mess 24 seven. And so I like, I was like, what can, what can we do? So I was like, okay, well maybe I can like create my own online system. I'm not technique, technique, technique savvy. So that was a hot mess. Um, so I was like, yeah, that, well, that didn't work. So one summer I just found like myself in a rut and I was like, something's got to change. And I had a friend reach out to me. And at that time I was looking for, um, basically some kind of supplementation that could help my body from crashing. Cause what was happening is I would like go, 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 go crash and like be out for a week. Go, 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 go crash. Cause like my adrenals were just going down and I have endometriosis. And so I was trying to find something that was a little bit more natural because I didn't really want to like go the route of Western medicine. Not that I have a problem with Western medicine. I just was like, no, no, I want, I want, I don't want, I don't want artificial hormones. I don't want any of that stuff, you know? So I researched and I knew what I needed to get. So like I would go and I would buy these supplements and I would try to make these green smoothies and I would drink them and they were fine. But anyway, my friend had reached out to me. And so she taught, said, you know, I'm a coach with Beachbody. 
Um, we use our programs. Um, you already doing what I'm doing. Would you be interested? And I was like, Oh, H no, like go away. I'm not interested. Um, I was like too good for that. I was a personal trainer. I already had like my gym classes. Like I had a name for myself. I'm not about to go and be a beach body coach because anybody could be a beach body coach. I was a total snob guys. <laughs> and so I was like, no, but I was very interested in Shakeology and what was in it because I was like my body means something and at this point like I'm willing to try anything and she's like there's a 30 day money back guarantee so if worst case scenario you can just order it and if you hate it you can send it back and I was like yes I'm sending this back I already plan on it so I ordered it and within two weeks I could tell a difference my energy level had changed um I was no longer tired I wasn't crashing um, I wasn't cramping and getting massively bloated and I was like, okay, I really like this stuff. And so I was like, you know what, if nothing else, I could be a coach and receive that 25% off discount. What was happening is people started to see that change in me and they're like, what are you doing? And so I would tell them about it. And so slowly but surely, like that's kind of how my business started to build and take off. Like people would just ask and be like, Hey, this is what I'm using, blah, blah, blah. Um, or if people were out of town and they couldn't work with me at the gym, then I would get them set up on a plan and a program. And that's kind of how my business started. And that's how my business was for like the first three years. Um, because I was still like, I don't know if I was afraid to like take my pedal off the gas at the gym and to leave the gym. Or if I was afraid like that maybe it wouldn't work. I don't know. I had like, like 20 motions or whatever. So we ended up moving from Las Vegas to Utah. So basically what I had set up at this gym was an incredible opportunity and you can't really find it anywhere else. So when we moved, I was basically like, okay, well, I'm not going back to the gym. So if I'm going to do something, I'm going to do Beachbody and I'm going to help people online because I'd left all those clients in Las Vegas and all the members in my gym in Vegas. And so um, a lot of them were like, well, I want to still work with you. And I was like, okay, well, this is how we're going to have to do it. So, um, fast forward now, five years later, um, the thing that's crazy is like, cause when I first started, I wasn't about, um, I wasn't necessarily like, how do I say it? I didn't really know what I wanted. Let's put it that way. Um, I was a mom of three kids and my husband now we're moving to Utah and he's starting a different job and eventually he's going to get his master's. And then I ended up getting pregnant with my fourth and I was just like, what? <laughs> so my life was like this big messy ball and I just didn't know what I wanted. And so, um, Tanner, my fourth kid, and I don't even know if this is making sense cause I'm all over the place. Um, he was born and, um, I just like really got like stuck in a funk and I was like, I don't know what to do with my life. I can't go to the gym because where we live, there's not enough like open space at the kid club and I really don't need to take him there like I, cause I can work out at home. And people are like, how do you work out at home? Well, what, if that's the only option you got, you're gonna do it if you wanna work out and like feel like a sane person. So I worked out at home um, and then um, I just got to a point where I was like, what if you committed to a program because it's like our number one job as a coach is to commit to a program and follow it like and to share and stuff and so it holds you super accountable and we just released 80 day obsession so i was like okay yeah like you got to go all in with 80 day obsession so i went all in i started doing personal development working on myself i really started to figure out what the crap Ariane wanted like yes i'm a mom but i'm also i love health and fitness and i love helping other women and i feel like it is my passion and my purpose that God gave me and I need to figure a way to be able to do this and take care of me and take care of the kids. And so I went all in with Beachbody and um, I work and I still do like I would love to work more but I do it all on my own. I don't have assistance. I don't have I don't have any help or anything like that. Um, maybe I will come to a point and get over myself and get help because some people do do help or whatever. But right now, um, I'm just, I, I don't do that. So I work 10 to 15 hours a week. Um, and I get to pick where I work, when I work, how I work. Um, 
And I'm able to not only surpass the income I made at the gym, but like I make a pretty good income more than most people make part-time anywhere. Um, insert income disclaimer. So um, now that like Tanner's getting older, obviously, and my kids are getting older, I'm able to put more into my business and to grow up more and stuff like that. I am not a six figure earner. Like I will be one day, but I'm not right now because I haven't worked that much or that hard to get there because you have to work in order to get anywhere in any business or any field. But what I can tell you <coughs> is I'm the happiest person, happiest area that I've ever been in my entire life. Um, I work on myself every single day. I get up, I do my workout, I've gotten results, I've lost the baby weight, I have abs and I never had abs before, not that that's like the primary thing, but I have muscles that like most people dream of having. Um, that's because I'm committed to my journey and I show up every day and as a coach, it helps you do that. Um, I am able to put my kids in activities and I'm able to pay for them and I'm able to drive them like to and from different things like that. I'm able to take the pressure off my husband so that he can work on his master's degree and not have to like go get like a job to help pay for the student loans or anything like that. I'm able to work in the cracks of time to bless my family and to bless my life. Um, and I would never ever been, have been able to do that had I still been at the gym. In fact, I probably would have like missed out on at least half of my kid's life. And I don't have to do that. And to me, that's worth it. Um, to me, it's worth getting up early, going to bed later, and fitting in two to three hours a day of work here and there. Um, it's probably closer to two, and then I'll like catch up on weekends and stuff when I can. But I'm able to sit down and do that and make an income that blesses my family's life. And that is what I'm passionate about. I'm passionate about helping other moms and other women and anyone out there that like just needs a side hustle to help bless their life and their family life and not mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, all the ways. And that is what coaching has done for me. And um, that's why I love it so much. And I want people to have the same opportunity and to believe in themselves, to believe that they can do something like this and not, you know, so often we disable ourselves and don't let ourselves to actually even try. And so, and that was another reason that I loved. I was like, well, it's a 30 day money back guarantee and I don't have to buy all this product and I don't have to mail people things and like Beach Buy takes care of all of that. I was like, yes. So, um, that is what this is. It's not a get rich quick scheme. You do have to work. You do have to show up every day if you want to grow this business. It doesn't grow overnight. Um, and you have to like you have to be willing to put yourself out there. And it is scary, but you guys, I was the biggest people pleaser. I was terrified of what other people thought of me. And through the personal development that I do every single day, because I do it every single day, I'm able to live my life for me and not care what other people think. Because here's the thing, the naysayers out there, the negative Nellies, they're all going to give you their opinion no matter what you do. They're going to be negative no matter what you do. You could eat a cookie and they could be like, well, that's stupid. You could eat a carrot and they could be like, well, that's stupid. You could go and say, hey, I'm going to be, I'm going to go to school to be a teacher and they can be that stupid. Or you can be like, hey, I'm going to go and start my own online business and they can be like, that's stupid. Because the people out there that are negative, no matter what you do in your life, they will always be negative. So, my biggest tip, whether you join us or not, is to live your life for you and not for the people that are judging you. Because really, it's none of our business what they think of us. It's seriously none of our business. It's a waste of energy and a waste of time. And that is the biggest thing that being a coach has taught me. So that's my backstory. So I will come on tomorrow and basically talk to you about like what it is that we actually do and go from there. So have an amazing Friday. Um, if you have any questions that you want specifically answered, let us know. Otherwise, have an amazing day. We'll talk to you later. Bye.